Hi, Joe Paprocki from Loyola Press for Papa Prayer. My guest today is Elsie Arevalo. She is the Assistant Director of the Center for Religion and Spirituality at Loyola Marymount University. Hi, Elsie, and thanks for being with us today. Hi, Joe. Thank you so much for having me today. So let's talk about prayer. And the first thing that I'd like to ask you is, where's a good place for us to begin when it comes to prayer? I think maybe a, a very good way to start, even before we begin, is just asking God for help. Because sometimes uh, when we get in our heads about prayer or what our prayer life should be like, or the demands of, I don't pray enough, or I don't do it the right way, that can create a lot of anxiety and stress. And really we can just begin with saying, Lord, I don't, I don't even know how to grow in prayer right now. Um, I would like to be closer to you please help me. And, and the second part of that is that to remember that we're not praying to a God that's out there as if we have to run and catch God's attention. It's really God is here with me right now. And really the, the first invitation is to catch up with myself, to be present to where I am. And so um, sometimes even I begin just noticing how I feel, how my body's feeling, I'm just grounding myself in what's actually happening with me. So it's more of a being where I am, sitting in this grounded space rather than, Lord, look at me, where are you? Sure, oh, that's very helpful. Uh, tell us more about this notion of allowing God to, uh, to meet us where we are. Um, if I may, I, I, have a, I had a dream a couple of years ago that sure. really helped me um, kind of get a sense of, of what the, the invitation really is in prayer. Um, I had a dream that there were three women that were sitting together. One of them was crying. The other one was holding the one that was crying and, and being with her. And then the third one was in pure bliss. Um, she was sort of um, in everywhere, present to the one that was crying, but really she was uh, elated. And the one that was crying found that third one really annoying. <laughs> like just could not connect with it. She was, you know, in her space of hurt. And I've come to realize that in prayer, we often want to be spiritual. But many of us don't want to be human. And um, I think that the door that prayer opens for us, the invitation that God gives us, is to bring those parts of yourself that are hurt, that are suffering, that are in need of love, care, and attention. Of course, there's a part of us that already knows that uh, God is love, that God is infinite compassion, that God is good. That part of, a, part of us is, is true and real and we can access it. That's why um, certain things that we hear and read resonate because they remind us of our true home. But um, we need to help this other hurt part of us catch up. And the Holy Spirit is really the, the intercessor between heaven and earth. And so it's uniting my earth with this invitation of, of, of love, kindness, compassion that wants this hurt part to be included, to be present. That's beautiful, Elsie, and it's also very, very powerful, very helpful. So in closing, what, uh, what advice, what practical advice can you offer uh, to help us deepen our prayer lives? Um, well, one, we have this beautiful Christian uh, tradition um, that teaches us how to bring our hurting parts. Um, you know, I, th I can think of um, the Ignatian Daily Examine, where you look at how your day went, those difficult emotions that you felt during the day. And there's, there's so many other things like Lexia Divina. But then I would also say that at the same time that we're caring for this hurt uh, part of ourselves, that we have this invitation to also transcend and to have a moment of silence um, to us. We practice all these other forms of prayer that we also make room for that space where I um, connect my will to God's will and say, this is where I'm at, but I trust. And I, as best as I can, I choose to release. Now you teach me how. You show me how. 
very practical advice, Elsie. I can't thank you enough for sharing your wisdom uh, about prayer with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joe, for inviting me. And thank all of you for joining us for a pop-up prayer. I'm Joe Paprocki. Until next time, God bless.